Hello everybody, I'm Daryl Pedersen and welcome to my workshop. In this video, we're going to go inside this radio-controlled, fully operational scaled ship model. She was built over a period of 14 years and she had more gadgets on board than a Swiss Army knife. She is the NOAA Ship Whiting S329 and welcome to the world of 125th scale. Okay, before we go inside the model, let me go ahead and show you the radio system. This is a Roby F-14 Navy radio with a dual stick. Now I've added color and two charts to my radio system to enhance it. If you come over here, I painted the throttle red for port. Push it forward, the model goes forward. Pull it back, the model goes in reverse. Painted this side green for starboard, forward and reverse. And what's cool is if you push this tab in, if you just move one, they both move together. Okay, over here I added a ball on top of the stick. So, port and starboard. And then if you push the stick up or pull it down, that's for the bow thruster. Okay, the basic radio system's about $300. But I've added two of the multi-switch systems, and the switch and the decoder, which goes in the model, is going to run you about $300, so you're looking at over $900 right here. Alright, so let's look at the chart. So yellow, if you push the stick, if you push the switch up, the spotlights come on, you push the switch up again, and they go off. Push the switch down, the deck lights come on, push the switch down again, and they go off. So, let's do that. You push the switch up, the spotlights are on, you have to manually bring it back down to neutral. You push it up again, and the spotlights are off. Okay, push it down, the deck lights are on, go back to neutral, and then push them down, and the deck lights are off. The purple is spring-loaded, and it is to be for the davit. So, you push it down, the davits drop, you let off, it's spring loaded, it automatically goes back to neutral. Push it up, the dab comes up, and then back to neutral. You get two rotary knobs. So inside the model, you'll have a servo, and you may have the servo uh, hooked up to a searchlight. So if you turn the rotary knob, the servo turns, and then your searchlight would turn. And you get another one here, so maybe you want to hook up a water cannon, whatever your little heart desires. And I also added to the top of this port and starboard. Now this is a beautiful radio system. Uh, I know it's a bit pricey, but you know that you can add the components as you need them. Uh, with two screws, they're in, and they just plug right in. I've been involved uh, with radio control boats and cars and planes since the 70s, and and this is by far the nicest radio system that I've ever. I've ever bought. All right, let's go in the model. Okay, here's the receiver, uh, 75 megahertz, channel 68. And here are the two uh, multi-switch decoders that I was talking about earlier when I was showing you the radio system. Now you can hook uh, lights and motors directly up to your uh, decoders if you want to, uh, but I don't like to do that. Um, I would rather hook a relay up to the decoder and have the relay open and close and send the power to whatever it is that you're trying to feed. Um, if it's a motor, I like to put a fuse in the line. That way if something horribly goes wrong, you know, you've popped a 50 cents fuse or you've burned up a, a relay that's just a few dollars and then you can just unplug it and you can plug a new one back in. Rather than burn up a uh, multi-switch decoder which is you know, over a hundred bucks. When you build the mo the larger models like this, you have plenty of real estate uh, to build this kind of stuff. And uh, of course, I try to dress it out nicely. Um, I, you know, like the inside to look just as nice as the outside does when I'm showing the models. All right, it's, it's hard to tell, but there's actually two layers going here, going on here. I've had to build upwards. Let me raise this up. You, you raise this up to put the 12 volt battery down here in the bottom of the model. 
But while I've got it up, let me just show you the underneath of the bottom row. These are all the relays and that's how I had to wire them. Did all the wiring myself. Probably not the best job in the world, but it works. There's the first layer of relays. And if you can see, that board has three relays on it, and that would be for the anchor system to drop the anchor and then to raise it back up. And then there's another one here uh, for the davits. And I'm gonna lower this down. So a, a normal board uh, with two relays, you know, one relay would be for, you know, uh, deck lights and the other one might be for spotlights. And all of these other ones are future relay boards. All right, let, let me talk about this real quick. Okay, so each relay uh, turns a function on and off. Okay, so your, your power comes in and then your power comes out. Okay, what you could do also is, if you come over and look at this, I have four power feeds coming in here. So each one of these feeds would be coming um, from a relay. But what is neat about this is one feed coming in goes through two micro switches and then it feeds two going out. So for instance, on the radio, I could, I could turn on my radars, um, which would be one of these coming in. And then each radar, I could come in here and manually turn it on or off. Um, you know, it's just something extra that you can do. Uh, it's a bit of an overkill, but you know, once again, it's, it's neat to be able to show that kind of stuff. All right, let's talk about the power panel. Um, you hook this up to your, your main 12 volt battery. And what's nice about this is it gives you different voltage outputs. Um, and each one is, and it has its own switch. So you have two 12 volts, two sixes, a five and two threes. Um, this is air cooled and it's a product by Harbor Models. Um, they're out of California. Uh, great group of people. Um, I've been dealing with them for years and I've bought two of these from them and uh, you know they work fine. Alright so the power leaves out of here and let's just talk about the 12 and the 6 volt power. And it runs back up to the motherboard and it comes up here to these power, power strips and there's a 6 and a 12 and let's just talk about this one. So here's the positive and the negative coming in. And then you can hook up all your components. Um, this is, uh, once again, just a uh, you know, nice way of doing it, easy way, you know, instead of having a bunch of wires all twisted together. All right, we've got uh, one servo, um, and it's by Fataba, and it's an uh, extra-duty servo for uh, sailboats. And it's hooked up. Runs all the way back here to the to the rudders. All right, I've got the three speed controls. They're all three by MCD, and they're all three programmable. Um, the two black ones here for the uh, port and starboard drive motors, and then the smaller one is for the bow thruster. And by programmable, you can. Uh, program them where you have more of a uh, throttle range on the low end of the stick or on the high end of the stick. And I've got mine programmed for the low end. All right, the drive motors are by a company called Marks out of West Germany. Uh, these are fantastic motors. They come with planetarium gearboxes on the front. They give you three sets of gears and you can change them depending on what RPM you want. I've been uh, running boats for a long time, and these are the best motors that I have found for uh, large models. And uh, not, not only that, they, they really look nice. I mean, they fantastic. Okay, the easiest way to uh, get power to your superstructure, or what I do, is I use this 25-pin computer cable. Now, I don't know if that's the right term for it, but that's what I call it. So there's 25 pins, so you're going to use one for your negative, so that leaves you 24, and 
that gives you 24 functions that you can get the power to. So if you follow that down through the model, it comes down through the frames and pops up over here. The wires that you see going into this white sleeve are wires that I haven't used yet. But if you follow some of the other ones, like the, the negative, it, it runs over here and it's the small one here and gets plugged in there. The positives, uh, some of them are gonna run to your relays and um, the two positives for the radars, like I was telling you, showing you earlier, plug in here. So, you know, the computer cables are an easy way to get all your functions, you know, hooked up at one time. All right, so the last thing we're gonna look at here is the uh, uh, port and starboard spools for the anchor chain and uh, the motor just turns the spool you know to drop the anchor and then you reverse the power and it winds the chain back up to raise the anchor okay folks that's the end of the uh, tour on the inside uh, the next video we'll uh, hook everything back up and turn everything on for you all right thank you for watching